if someone asks you to help them read because um, text is too small to read, you would say, well, you need to get your eyes checked. But what if the person asking for help is Google? Yep, I'm talking about infamous and very vague error of Google search console that says text too small to read. What does this error actually mean and what causes this to appear and how can you fix this error? All this will be covered in this uh, video today. But before we start the video, I would like to inform new viewers that uh, we do have this same video in Hindi and English both. If you want Hindi this video, you will get the link in the Hindi video. You can see it in the top right corner. Mein milega. Aap dekh sakte hai. Dono versions mein information is the same, only language and some jokes are different. Hello everyone, I am Amitwari for Amitwari.net. And we are discussing text too small to read error that occurs in Google search console today. Actually, it occurs on your website, but you get notified by Google search console. If you are watching this video for the first time, do comment below and let me know your thoughts about the video. And if you are already a subscriber, share this video. It helps us a lot to reach more people as awesome as you are right now watching this video. So text too small to read is exactly what it says. When Google search engine scroller finds that your text on your website is too small to read uh, on smartphones, it logs the error in search console and search console notifies the owner, in this case you, about such issue. Now if you are thinking that it's easy, you can just go ahead and increase the font size, you might find two problems in this simple solution. Number one, well, how much font size is enough for Google? What font size is small? For Google and sometimes there is no text on the page that is small you can check the font size on your entire page you do you go ahead and check the font size of your entire page and every font is in a 60 or 18 pixel size and yet you cannot get rid of this error so what can be the reason after all let's take a look at some reasons and their solutions number one this is pretty obvious but I have to mention it which is small font size according to Google's own guidelines if more than 60% text of the entire page has font size of uh, 12 pixels or less than that this error will appear this includes main content header footer copyright everything so you have to check your page entirely to make sure that you haven't missed any text whatsoever check every paragraph button text menu item verify that your font size is more than 12 pixels all the time Second reason is the viewport. As you very well know that smartphones come in all shapes and sizes and that's great for the people who buy them. Sadly, not so great for the people who make those little smartphones useful. Uh, like you, my dear webmaster, you have to account for all those different screen sizes. And if you want your website to load properly in every smartphone, your website has to tell the browser what is the viewport requirement and what would be the size of a pixel. Most of the website's platform uh, automatically add this instruction below the doc type declaration. Here you can see the website is telling the browser that width of the viewport will be equal to devices width. Also, there is an additional instruction that uh, initial scale would be one, which means ratio of devices pixel and pixel declared in CSS file of the website would be one to one which is equal. If somehow your website doesn't have this instruction, a smartphone's browser might not know how to display your website or how big a 20 pixel font size should look. Good news is that you don't have to hire any developer to solve this issue. Just visit your website, right click anywhere on the page and select this view page source option. In this source code of the website, find this meta viewport tag. Just go through the whole uh, file line by line. No, I'm kidding. Hit Control F or Command F and search for this tag. And if your site doesn't have it, just paste this line as it is in your website's page or themes page, whichever applies in your case. Reason number three is your hosting. Yes, hosting can cause this error too. But what does font size has to do with hosting company? Let me explain. Google scroller doesn't visit the website like a normal human visitor. It will not wait for all set files to download and execute indefinitely. Google doesn't give the details about how long the crawler normally waits, but several tests have revealed that if a certain file is taking more than five seconds to download and execute, the crawler might actually leave it. Which means if your hosting is slow, Google scroller uh, will not be able to download and execute your website CSS file and it won't render your website correctly and it will never find out actually how big your text should look on a mobile device 
we have explained this uh, crawling and indexing process in our video about javascript seo which is only in hindi unfortunately right now if you want to watch that video still uh, link would be coming on top right corner right now and it will be in the description of this video too so how would you solve this problem the most obvious option is to upgrade your hosting faster hosting will be able to serve your asset file quickly and solve this issue uh, immediately but it might not be feasible for a lot of reason including budget downtime unavailability of developer and so on so in this case uh, you can rely on cdn or content delivery networks can serve your website's asset file uh, to visitor through their servers which means faster download you can use cdn services for free thanks to cloudflare and set up the cloudflare cdn easily thanks to this video and third option is to manage your CSS. You see, it doesn't matter how fast your hosting is if your website is not managing its asset properly. A lot of performance boosting plugins tweak your website CSS in two ways. They combine all CSS files into one and minify it. Minification is fine, it doesn't harm your website, but if your website has too many plugins and a theme with too much CSS, this combined CSS file might get too heavy to download and execute in one shot under five seconds. So you should check your website's performance plugin option and uh, find the setting that enables the combining of asset files and turn that off. It takes too much resources to crawl and index billions of pages every day. And in, even for the company like Google, uh, uh, so search engines ration their time for each website. You have to manage your website's asset file and keep CSS file healthy and light and in check so that Google scroller can download and execute them in a jiffy. Reason number four is robots file. This one is a weird issue which uh, doesn't come automatically but sometimes when you are playing with the robots.txt file and adding instructions that you don't fully understand, this can cause this issue. So you see, if you add any instruction on robots.txt file, Google scroller will respect that. It's built that way. Let's take a WordPress file for example. If you go ahead and disallow wp-content folder of your website, the crawler will not be able to download your CSS files because uh, CSS files also live in the subfolder of that wp-content folder. If Google scroller will not be able to access that CSS file, it won't be able to execute it and it will never know what should be the file size of your text. So just quickly check your website's robots.txt file and see if it has any disallow instruction that stops crawler from accessing any of your asset folder. So now there are four ways to check your website and one of these will uh, solve your website's text too small to read error but you have to inform Google about your fix. For this you have to go to Google search console and go to the enhancement section of the sidebar and click on this, uh, this uh, mobile usability option. Uh, you will find more mobile related issues here but for now let's click on error down below that says text too small to read and now here you will see the history of this error like when did Google found this uh, error for the first time on your website how many pages are affected and the list of those pages now you just have to click on this validate fix button on the top and that's it Google will take few days to verify this and then it will send you an email that it has successfully fixed the dreaded error. Congratulations. So if you receive an email from Google search console about this particular error, don't ignore it. It might be a sign that your hosting is lacking or your robots file uh, need review or your performance plugin is throttling your website or you should simply check your uh, website for any small font size and fix it while you can. Whatever it is, fix it now and keep your website usable for your visitors and that cute little search engine crawler. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Amit Tiwari from Amit and I will see you next time. Take care.